Welcome back to Math 171 Pre-Calculus Algebra. In this video, we're going to take a look at some inconsistent and dependent systems and how we can identify them and then write our solutions in the case of the dependent system. So first, the inconsistent system. We we'll mentioned last time that everything we looked at finished something of the form and I'm doing this with three equations and three variables. So we started with that, and then if you draw the line for the augmented matrix in there, afterwards you got numbers, which I'm just going to call x, y, and z, because they do correspond to what x, y, and z are. So that's all fine and dandy. But, not all equations are going, or systems of equations are going to come out that way. So one example would be the system of equations x minus 2y minus z equals negative 5. 2x minus 3y minus z equals 0. And 3x minus 4y minus z is equal to 1. So I punch that into the calculator. So my matrix here is 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 5, 2 minus 3 minus 1, 0, 3 minus 4 minus 1, 1. So if I were to punch that into the calculator, I would not get a solution like I did before. Let me just punch that into my calculator real quick to get a solution. So reduced row edge line form of... The matrix 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5. And I am punching this into a different calculator than you guys have to work with, which is why this is sounding a little bit different. So the matrix I end up getting from this is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Well, let's pay real close attention to that last row. If I convert that back into the original form, I get 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 1. Well, simplifying that left-hand side, I just get 0 equals 1. There are no values of x, y, and z for which 0 is equal to 1. So therefore, this would be no solution. And this is also what is known as an inconsistent system. So that's an inconsistent system. The other one that we're going to have to work with is going to be what's called a dependent system. So, if I take a different system of equations, 3x minus 4y, ah, minus 4, get it back in draw mode, y plus 4z 
equals 7, x minus y minus 2z equals 2, and then 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 5. So, of course, I can set my matrix up for this, so it's 3 minus 4, 4, 7. I'll go ahead and throw the dotted line in there. 1 minus 1 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 3, 6, 5. So I go ahead and plug that in. I end up getting the matrix, and I actually have the solution here already done. 1 minus 1 minus 2, 2. Actually, that's a different form of the answer. So the form we have is going to be 1, 0, minus 12, 1. And then 0, 1, minus 10, minus 1, and then finally, a row of all zeros. So that row of all zeros tells us that 0 equals 0, which we already knew. So now we can just ignore that last row. So we end up getting the system x minus 12z equals 1, and then y minus 10z equals negative 1. So what our textbook is going to want us to do with this is go ahead and move that 12z to the other side. And we'll do the same thing, add the 10z to both sides on the second equation. And then it's going to have you write it in an ordered pair. And in my math lab, do pay attention because they will likely give you instructions saying how to state your answer. But a lot of times what we're going to do with this is instead of using that z, we're going to use t to indicate z, and we'll still write it as an ordered triple. So we get 12t plus 1, 10t minus 1, t for our solution. Again, pay attention to what my math lab asks you to do for the variables, but other than that, you should get a solution that looks something like that. So that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at an application of systems of equations that's very useful in calculus.